our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jailton Mahaya Jr. Almeida! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Curtis Razor Blades. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so another big spot here for Curtis Razor Blades. And if this fight was happening a few years ago, you would expect an early shot from Curtis Blades. But now that the striking has started to catch up with the wrestling, perhaps Blades will show his opponent a different look here early today. Look at how he drives the opponent's section. Takedown defense holds up. Another nice knee to the body. Oh, nice takedown defense there. Looked like the boxer might have even cracked a wry smile. The rest of the shot to get him down. 0 for 1 thus far. Well, that's him just kind of acknowledging that the work that he put in is paying off, it's paying dividends. I wouldn't be surprised if he looks over to the corner and gives him a wink and goes, hats off to you, boys. You got me prepared. Just a half guard. And there you go again. Half guard. Making all these shots count. Fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Curtis Blades. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Gotta get out. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. You gotta maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every And now he's got the back. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Nice transition. He's got a flat on his back. These ground strikes are starting to add up. He got to his spot. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. The pace. You gotta keep it going. You're doing oh, beautiful it. technique on that straight punch. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Under three minutes to go in round one. Blades gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh man, what a strike to the bottom. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Curtis Blades. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. I want to see that wrist control. Yeah, but he's got him secure. He can't let Curtis Blades lay on top of him with all that weight. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling them with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite work, side, guys. drop his chest to get all the way down to the opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Blaze. from the bottom. Don't stay down. Nice transition. Great defense by the defensive fighter. 
Great job landing from the top position. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Second round, round one. Stop, 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 stop. To the head. Second round, straight ahead. All right, man. Listen to me. We're losing this one. You know we're losing this one. You got to go out there and give me everything you got. You know you all right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready. Round two on the way. Big punch landing. into space yeah. so that he doesn't get finished. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> that was lightning fast, that right hand. Stand this up. Let's work. Kick him off. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. You don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got him four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffett. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jail Khan Mahaya Jinya Almeida! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in.